Hi YouTube, Medwitch here. This is the New Year's Aftermath. It's called being drunk. <laughs> I've been sitting here for the last couple hours drinking beers. I live in Wisconsin, so a couple hours drinking beers is a lot. Technically they're not beers, they're ales. I'm drinking uh, Moon Man by New Glarus. For those of you who, went, who live in Wisconsin, you guys know this. You guys probably love it. Nice, nice citrusy like, taste to it. Like, I don't know how they get the citrusy taste in, in a beers. Do they actually like use like, uh, like orange peel or something? Or is it like certain type of barley or malt or hop? Or, I don't know. I don't know how to make beer, so I'm not even whatever. I want to try just sipping on that. Probably not going to happen. But today's video, uh, I th think it was yesterday. What's today? Second. Today's the second. Yesterday, I made a video, and I just uploaded it a while ago, because I was just, I was just too tired to even bother with anything, but, um, uh, uh, I think I mentioned that I was going to be doing a video on Joshua Fernstein. Now that I'm actually looking at it, Bernstein. Is that Polish? Bernstein? Bernstein. Bernstein. I think it's Polish. Would make sense. It's a racist joke. Get it? You know, because apparently Polacks are slow. Well. Fernstein fits the bill. No offense against Polish people. I'm just going off of your basic joke. Uh, I know it's it's quite an old video. So uh, about it, about a, about a what what a year and a half? September 15, 2014. Yeah, I'm way late on this. Uh, there have been other people who have been getting on. Barnstein a lot. Really, you, you can't blame the people who are getting on him. He, he sets himself up. Now, you know, Josh, you set yourself up. You know that, right? Like, like, big time, set yourself up. I'm drunk. And I... His video, oh, Mr. Atheist, allow me to nail the coffin, or nail the coffin shut on evolution without even using a Bible. One, the Bible really doesn't, really doesn't say if you believe in evolution, you're a sinner. No, these, this is, this is because of the whole creation story. God created the world in six days, rested on the seventh. You guys don't even follow your own damn religion because you worship on Sunday, not Saturday, so shut the fuck up. Sunday's my day, goddammit. Used to be. Now it's Mondays. Fuck you. Okay, so he's going to apparently disprove evolution without using a Bible, which... Really, in order to disprove evolution, you need to use science. But she goes in on it saying... Well, you'll, you'll find out. It's 4 minutes, 12 seconds. Uh, as it goes on, I will comment where I find it's necessary. Uh, I am playing the audio under fair use. So, shut the fuck up. Phone! Do as I tell you. 
Josh Fierstein here. So I've been issued a challenge to publicly prove that God exists and that atheism and evolution are illogical and just plain don't make sense. And without using a Bible, so here we go. You know, it's funny because a lot of times people that don't want me to use a Bible, they say things like, oh my God, I mean, that's just so illogical. I mean, evolution is the only logical explanation. But let's really look at how logical evolution really is. I mean, imagine that you've never read a history book. And all of a sudden, you're driving through South Dakota and you see a mountain with four big faces on it. Well, we know it's Mount Rushmore but say you didn't and say all of a sudden you see it would you just assume that that was a product of evolution that the mountain had just evolved that way or would you think that maybe that there had been an artist or a designer that had somehow carved those faces into that mountain i mean i want you to mount rushmore officially is a product of evolution according to josh here because apparently you can compare in inanimate object such as rock to evolve when evolution in and of itself is for living things not rock so yes Josh when it comes to you know artistic nature in Mount Rushmore yeah there was an artist behind that you know the Sistine's Chapel just evolved to have a, a painting of God and Adam up on the ceiling yeah that's 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 real logical Josh that's that's awesome really think about it think about the house that i live in or that even you live in think about the car that you drive those are complex beings and yet each one of them has a blueprint i mean do you really think that the human body was built without a blueprint especially looking at comparing it again comparing living things animals plants insects we humans as an animal to an inanimate object such as a building or a car, which, mind you, I don't drive, but still. Now, the human body is so complex that even your common textbook has a problem fitting everything in it. So, I mean, the human body is complex. A uh, house really isn't, except for the wiring and plumbing. Don't ask me to do that. I can build you four. I, I can build you four walls, a floor, and a ceiling. But I can't. Don't ask me. To, it'll be a box. You will live in a nice box if you have me build your house. I can do it, and I'm not a carpenter. I just know enough about fucking building shit. Hmm. DNA, the fact that inside of you that there's a three billion letter code that specifically tells exactly how you're make you're made up. Doesn't that prove intelligent design? The fact that your body has a blueprint? How can it have a blueprint if it doesn't have a designer? I mean, think about the earth that we live in. Think about the fact that it's 8,000 miles in diameter. Think about the fact that it's 93 million miles from the sun. If it was any larger, well, the air would be far too dense and turn into water and cover the earth. If it was any farther or closer to the sun, we would either freeze or we would burn to death. Think about the fact that it's tilted 23.5 degrees, which allows us seasons. Think about the fact that it's the right distance from the moon, that when it spins, that it's able to control the tides. Think about the fact that the atmosphere is 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. I mean, even... Stephen Hawking, the great physicist, had to admit that the universe and its laws of physics seem to be specifically designed for us. Wrong. Telescopes in space have found many, many planets just like ours. Granted, they're too far away. But for any hope of life to exist outside of our solar system, that's where they're looking. They're shooting signals there. And we won't be getting those signals back for a while. But still, there are many, 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 many other planets out there 
that we have found that theoretically are Earth-like, which means they have the possibility of supporting life as we know it. But what you're forgetting, Josh, is that there are species that can live in temperatures way above or below than what we can. There are creatures that live in complete and utter darkness. There are creatures that live in acid. We touch it, we get burned. You know, I mean, the universe is not just our star in its nine planets. It, we're not it. Just, just mathematically, that is an impossibility that we, on this one itty bitty speck of dust, are the only living beings. Just because we don't know about anything outside of our own solar system or our own galaxies and what we do know does not mean that there is not other intelligent life somewhere out there in the universe. So, no. It was not the world itself even evolved to where it could support life. And yes, Ordo of Kale, plain and simple. If you don't know what that means, it's Latin for order from chaos. Everything is chaotic. Everything's still chaotic, for crying out loud. Explosions are happening every single minute in this whole entire universe that we don't know about it. Stars are born and they die every single second, and we don't know about it. So, yes, everything was left to chance, and creation is, is a farce. Now think about this. When it comes to evolution, the one reason that evolution can never match up with science is that an organism has never been shown to gain genetic information. Yes, it has. Scientists who study bacteria have controlled places where they study bacteria. And I'm not just talking about, you know, cooties and, you know, certain diseases. I'm talking about even, even the common cold, for crying out loud, the flu. The flu virus is constantly being studied and constantly evolving. And you know what the flu virus is? It is a living organism. It is a bacteria of some kind. It is a germ, which means it is living. It is an organism, and it evolves. Why do you think our vaccinations change every single year? I mean, for crying out loud, even farmers have to change their pesticides from year to year because the bugs that are eating their crops evolve to reject that pesticide that thing that kills the moth so that is evolution and it has been witnessed especially with smaller you can see it more clearly and quicker the smaller the organism is the simpler the organism is you can see it a lot more clearly but the larger, more complex the organism is, it takes a very long time. Humans are such complex creatures, we will not have wings for another 10 billion years. But that's our next evolutionary process. Just letting you know, we're getting wings. Damn well better get wings. I don't want to be pissed. Or gills, web feet, and hands. Fish face, orc face.
play, play, play. So how could something evolve from an atom, well, to a human being? How could it become molecule to man? You know, I realize that there's a lot of people out there that draw pictures of apes and they're just this evolution into humans, but I could do the same thing with a flower and a windmill. But it doesn't mean that it's true. It's a good artist and a... Again, Josh, you cannot, cannot compare the process... I mean, that's like saying, look at the evolution of the car. You know, if you really want, if you really want to do this, this Josh, look at the car. John Ford, look at his car way back when. Looks like a fucking weak ass piece of fucking steel. Now look at the cars we had today. They parked themselves. Fucking awesome. So, if we're going to be comparing, you know, apples to oranges, living to inanimates, then fine. Look at the evolution of the car. There's your proof of ev that that there's your proof of evolution right there. If you want to do this, we'll do it. You know how retarded does that sound? You want proof of evolution? Look at the car. The car in John Ford made the first car. And then, and then now we have cars that that break on their own with proximity sensors and 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 course computer navigation and OnStar. I, I mean, fucking really, fucking fucking really. You cannot say, oh, I could draw a, a flower and, and make it to where it turns into a windmill. Really? Fucking really. <laughs> so I'll play that game. Proof of pro here here's here's my proof of evolution. Cars. Look at cars. From when the first car came into existence to the cars now. Evolution is fact. Because cars. <laughs> I hope you guys know that I am completely and totally joking. And I'm just making fun of this fuck for comparing living and non-living. But seriously, that's 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 his argument. Mount Rushmore already. Your house, your car. I'll use the car argument too. A flower into a windmill. A flower evolves into a windmill. What is this fucking Pokemon? Where fucking this goddamn fucking horse turns into a bird or some shit i mean come on that's this not how it works you can't use a non-living object to disprove evolution and you can't use the whole whole creation so you technically did use the bible in that when you said blue that there's a blueprint that you, you cannot disprove evolution without the Bible. The Bible is creationism, plain and simple. So therefore, in order to disprove evolution, to prove uh, creationism, you have to use the Bible. Because creation, the Bible is creationism. Creationism is the Bible. A good story. But the fact is, is that there's not one organism that has ever shown us that it has added genetic information. In fact, science has actually proven that organisms lose genetic information over time. In one sense, this is true. In the other sense, it is false. Science has shown that more complex animals more complex life does lose genetics over time over long periods of time but what they fail to see is that we actually do gain but it's not as much and it's so slight that it's 
almost unregisterable. Sorry for the slurring. Josh, you do know that evolution is a natural process of selection and adaptation. I will give you an example. Even if your creation story is true, history has shown just through migration patterns that we know of, life did in fact, human life did in fact start somewhere in Africa. In Africa, and it has even been shown that they had the, the, the fossils they have dug up of humans are roughly similar to the common bone structures of an Afri of a now and day African. Yes, and I don't mean to sound racist, but the different the the different uh, ethnicities do have different bone structures. And muscle structures. I am. I am not shitting you on this. This. This is scientific fact. They had do have different bone structures. So scientists and historians can roughly estimate what ethnicity they are. Now, do you know why? Uh, blacks are blacks. Whites are whites. I'll tell you why. It's because of how much sun they get. When you're in the regions of, of Africa like we were when we first became, there was just too much sun. So our skin had to darken to protect us from the harmful radiation that that region between the tropics gets. I mean, they get a lot, a lot of sun. They have two seasons for crying out loud, wet and dry. That's it. Fuck. I live in Wisconsin. You know, we have almost winter, winter, still winter in construction for crying out loud. But as we started migrating, as we started migrating, then you get your Middle Easterns. You know, so they're a little lighter, you know, because they're not getting as much sun as Africa. And then you keep going, keep going, and then you have your Asians, your, your your Orientals. They got lighter because they're starting to get more seasons and less sun. And now when you come up into Europe, you got this guy. This guy's white. Whiter than white. And that is because in Europe, there's four seasons. Half the year, we don't get much sun. Half the year we get a lot of sun. But it's not enough. And that was our evolution. And that was just because we didn't need as much protection from the sun. We as white people don't need as much protection from the sun as the blacks did down in Africa. Now don't give me this, oh why are there still blacks? Genetics. And it is starting to fade out, to be completely and totally honest. And I'm not talking about, oh, well, because they had sex with somebody of lighter skin. No, I, you know, two dark people can have a lighter black kid. I'm not even kidding. It happens. It's still happening. So, moot. And as for losing, did you know that? Light eyes, light colored eyes, green and blue, are technically evolutionary traits. Because you see, yes, we lost the darkness out of our eyes. Which that darkness, again, just like the skin, protected our eyes from the light. People with brighter eyes lived in darker areas. It helped them see better in the darkness. It actually does, just, I'm not talking about like cat eye vision where you can see perfectly. 
you know, but at least you can stop stubbing your toe on the, you know, the table. People with green and blue eyes is an evolutionary trait. Yes, we lose the coloration, the pigmentation, but we gain something more. The people's what the, the, the people's skin dictates how much sun that their body absorbs. How much of the radiation, how much of, of the nutrients it absorbs. And because we have white skin, we absorb the necessary nutrients. If we if we were black and we lived, especially way back then, if we were black and we lived in Northern Europe or Iceland, we'd be sick constantly. But we're white, so we're not sick. Now, since we're white, we go down to Africa back then, we would die just because of the heat. We wouldn't be able to stand it. It's plain and simple. So, yes, we may lose genetic material. This is what's called mutation, which is part of evolution. We adapt to our surroundings. For instance, that's why we're omnivores and not, you know... Fucking, what is it called now? Herbivores is plant. Carnivores is meat. Yeah, so herbivores or carnivores were herbivores. Or are um, um, omnivores. Omnivores. Time. So, how could something evolve when it's actually in the process of devolving? Another nail in the coffin of evolution? Well, this is just plain and simple. It's never been proven that life can come from non life. End of story. I don't know where he's getting that from. The life from non life. I honestly don't. As anybody who, you know, passed, you know, sixth grade science knows that the universe is made out of matter. We ourselves are made out of matter. Water itself is matter. The air is matter. Everything is matter. Everything is made of matter. And just because you can't touch it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. For instance, air. But as a naturalist, as a pagan, I still believe in science. Science in and of itself makes a lot more sense. And I will tell you why in the next video. I'm going to stop it right here, give myself another beer, and while this one's uploading, I'll be making another one explaining why I can trust science more. And I will be using arguments against the Bible while drunk so we're going to call these two episodes these two these two videos the drunk series the new year's aftermath by the way um uh, i forgot what i was going to say oh yeah uh for those uh, i don't think i uploaded anything for new year's so, happy belated New Year's to everybody. Uh, I hope you had a fun, safe New Year's. Obviously, if you're watching this, you probably did. Unless if you're stuck in a hospital bed with a broken something or another from all the intoxication you've been through. Uh, I'm just going going through the last bit of the beer that my girlfriend and I had. It was just me and my girlfriend. So, got a little too much and uh, I was hoping it would pull an all-nighter but I just got way too tired woke up real early started drinking real early so yeah 
But as always, bless to be.